tour. Mm -hmm. um, this is probably my most requested video. These are probably my favorite videos to watch and look back on. Me too. Um, I love this apartment, so needed to document it before we leave. This place really feels like home yeah. for us. So right as you enter, we have a little catch-all for our keys. I got this at a thrift store. This bamboo stand was Corinne's. Where is this from? I think off the street of New York. Nice, nice. This is where we keep um, our incense and lighter because we love incense, as you can see here. <laughs> um, not just lit for this video. Incense is a normal thing around here. Yes, it is. Um, Can confirm. The reason we chose this place was oh, yeah. because of the high ceilings and the windows, which we oh. really love those windows. Peace, love. Here is a closet. I don't know if it's like in a presentable state. It's um, okay. This is where I keep my shoes. My shovel. Yep. Um, and then like lots of storage space. Then here is our other like favorite part, our little faith mantle. We have quite a little collection of stuff. So this plant pot and these um, little vessels were handmade by my friend Andre. I got this plant a few years ago. If you've seen my last dorm tour, um, I had like just gotten it then and it's grown so much since then. This plant stand I got in an antique fair. This little blue ceramic, this was, um, I know it's from Japan. I think it was from my grandmother. These two books about environmental psychology I got from a DEA professor who was retiring. This Vincent van Gogh um, picture was from my late uncle. Um, and this I also got at an antique store. Um, I, I have a thing for ginkgo leaves. I just have a little habit of picking them up. <laughs> so this is just some dried eucalyptus and this, um, beautiful ribbed vase I got at a thrift store. Um, and then down here we have Corinne's guitar! <laughs> there she is! Circling around, um, another thing I could note is that this apartment came furnished, so, um, I mean, that was lucky for us. We didn't have to bring a lot of stuff. So this and this and the table and most of like the big furniture items um, came with the apartment. And that lamp up there. Moving over here, um, another one of Corinne's rugs. <laughs> Which, I mean, my parents' rugs that oh. I stole. <laughs> <laughs> this is our beautiful noisy radiator. So noisy. Um, it whistles. This is a... Um, Dr. McGilly <laughs> um, and a lampshade. This uh, Picasso print was from Corinne's mom. Corinne's speaker for all of our rangers. Yeah, we just, we throw them all the time. <laughs> Here is where I spend most of my days, mm -hmm. especially during quarantine. It's like, this is my side, that's Corinne's side. And then a, just a nice collection of items here. And this... <laughs> is an avocado that I'm trying to sprout and turn into an avocado plant. This Emily got for me. I've been on a huge candle kick lately. Um, I don't know what it is, but I freaking just love candles now. Mm -hmm. I've become a candle bitch, what yeah, can I say? Yeah, totally. More little things over here. <laughs> um, these are also by my friend Andre. This is a camera from my friend. And then we have... The menorah! We have a little library going on here. Oh, this is probably my favorite. Um, just the perks of being a wallflower. It has now been annotated by me, um, Paco, and Corinne. So this is really special to mm. me. Here's a little painting of swans that I did. And I these that. beautiful origami pieces are by our friend Paco. Thank you, Paco. Thank you, Paco. Love ya. This is the picture of the four of us. Aww. There's some... <laughs> some Play-Doh. And some paper and art supplies. Cute. Should we circle into your room? This is my bed. Um, so cute. I really don't have much to say about the bedding. This rug is handcrafted by um, artisans, I think in Morocco. This I found at a thrifty shopper and I was like, this is beautiful. That is really beautiful. And I never wear it, but it looks nice on my door. <laughs> <laughs> this is my medicine cabinet. Nice. This holds most of my clothes. This is 
Oh, you've had this since our first dorm. Yeah. Um, this came from a family friend. It's the Baker Love statue. These little dishes came from the same family friend. They have all different wildflowers on them, so <laughs> this one is different, but it has all my makeup on it. There's the same picture. Yes, it's yes. in our bookshelf. Um, and what's this? What's this picture over here? Oh, this. I don't know if you guys remember, um, but <laughs> I cut Erica's hair off, and that's a picture of it happening. Love that. This bag over here. Filled with snacks. Nice. <laughs> That's all. And where does this door lead? So if you come into the kitchen from Corinne's room, um, this is what it looks like. We made banana bread muffins yesterday. They're so good. Oh, over here we have some beautiful work by Corinne. And that's Erica's print. And this is a little Matisse print. This is the um, flyer I got from the cult mm -hmm. when they approached us at the Apple Fair. Yeah. And then this um, boom magnet I got in Verona. Beautiful. Um, so yeah. This is Erica's um, genius work. <laughs> we hang our work on the refrigerator like we're proud parents. <laughs> we are. We have this one. Over here we just have a, a little mini alcohol collection. This is a misprint um, of a zine that I made for my friends. Oh my god, I cry. <laughs> Up here we have just a few of our bottles. <laughs> Here's my little fruits basket right now. I only have a cantaloupe. This is my fruit basket, and right now I have nothing. <laughs> Quarantine life. <laughs> my parents are going to be worried. And this is a calendar of various um, cupids that we picked up in Venice. Yes. Love that. At the train station. Yeah. So we have some bar soap and some Dr. Bonners. <laughs> <laughs> this is like in between the kitchen and the living area. This was from my uncle's girlfriend, but we do not have speakers for it, so we have not been able to use it, which is so sad. But we brought some of our records here, mm -hmm. um, a couple notable ones, Mitskivi the Cowboy. This yes, is a from Dan. shout out. Um, also, my signed um, Soft Sounds from Another Planet album, yes. the Japanese Breakfast. I have a few that were my dad's, so I have like Abbey Road. Um, some other like classic rock stuff and then another favorite jesus, jesus christ, christ superstar. superstar and then down here we have our lovely recyclables and our thin film plastics that we recycle at wegmans if you turn back this way we get to my bedroom this is my little room um it's the perfect size for me as you can see i try to keep it pretty Simple. This comforter is from Buffy. They do sustainable comforters and other bedding stuff. I have a paper lantern there that's a wannabe um, Noguchi lamp. This chair uh, didn't come with the apartment. This one I got it in an estate sale and it's my current read, 100 Years of Solitude. Thanks Paco. Paco again. And then if you turn this way, here I just have my little wardrobe laundry over here some storage some shoes and then on my dresser i have um, a painting this was in my grandmother's house this wooden comb is from japan this is from an antique fair this marble slab i got at an ithaca thrift store for less than a dollar um there's a made in italy stamp in the back um, so that's mm. really fun and then these are my favorite scissors <laughs> i got them when i was in italy they're by the um, brand hay but they're shaped like a bird. Some old journals and um, sketchbooks because I like to just like have them for reference. You know, you never know when you need a little blast from the past. And then here are pictures of my friends mm -hmm. <laughs> um, in our old dorm. Yeah. Fun times. Um, oh, I use Elvin drafting dots to um, tape everything. Whenever I have visitors, they think it's really funny for some reason. This is from when I got my aura read in the city. That's Erica's aura. She made that. Here's a little painting I did. And some letters from friends, um, which I treasure. If you ever write me a letter, I will probably keep it forever. <laughs> um, I think that's about it. And then over here we have the bathroom. <laughs> the, the little bathroom under the stairs. <laughs> this apartment is very old. <laughs> but um, we do have a... A closet tub, which is super Look at her. fun. It's like a mini one. We are big bar soap fans in this house. Mm -hmm. and we still use um, soap that comes in a plastic pump.
hug bum. You're dead to me. So. <laughs> oh, wait, this is, we need to mention, this is from our friend Abby, Abby who you. gave it to us before she went abroad. Um, I think that's about it. Over here, we just have some storage. This side is my stuff, and that side is Corinne's stuff. Always turn off the lights. So that's it for our apartment. She's cute. I remember when we were touring apartments, we like stepped into this one and we saw the high ceilings and we were like, oh, like. We have to get it. We have to get it. <laughs> and the people who had it before us, they didn't even, it really wasn't that cute in here. Mm -mm. They did not take advantage of, you know, the the old charm that this Yeah, they place really has. didn't. It was not, yeah. it was not cute. Decorating this place has been just one of the, the joys of my life. Yeah, it's sure. been really great. I mean, she's done most of it. <laughs> but I love what she's done. <laughs> if there's anywhere I'd want to be quarantined, it's here. <laughs> For sure. I guess, like, just talking about the apartment and stuff, and it just brings up the feelings that, like, we're going to be leaving. And that uh, makes me yeah. feel very sad. Leaving this apartment like kind of like is like we're not going to be living together for the first time in three years like literally <laughs> stop it i can't yeah we've been living together for three years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for those of you who don't know corinne and i were randomly assigned to live together when we both transferred here and we've been roommates ever since besties ever since I could like cry thinking about packing up this. Yeah, thing. I can't really talk we about just, it right now because yeah, I will cry. <laughs> I'm like just gonna be like sadder as I'm like trying to like come up with things to say. I've never seen an apartment tour get sad. I know. <laughs> it should it not be like this? Don't cry. You're gonna make if you cry, I'll cry. <laughs> You're crying. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been real. Catch you next time. <laughs> Should I end it? Yeah.